Hello everybody, I welcome you to Nurse Life TV. Um, thank you so much for clicking, for watching, for subscribing. All right, don't forget to like our video. Anytime you put a thumbs up, it helps the algorithm, um, YouTube to share our videos with other students who are also looking for such information that we share on our channels. So God bless you for doing that and keep your comments coming. I love to read your comments. I love to reply to your comments. If you look at the comment section, um, though I was busy with school, now school is over. So I have all the attention here that I can answer students and stay to the end of this video because I have a very important information for you that you are going to like very much whether you are studying Chamberlain University now or you are in the program and you need help the last minute information will be great and will be good for you so please stay to the very end of the program I welcome all our new students all the new students going into Chamberlain um, I wish you the best uh, I pray for the best for you I just graduated and Chamberlain is one of the great schools, I must say. Why am I saying that? Because they took me in when I couldn't get into any other school uh, due to one reason or the other. The acceptance rate is 92 or 91% if I'm not mistaken. So what is today's video about? Let's go straight into it. Accelerated program. What is accelerated program? So Chamberlain University is an accelerated BSN program. Okay, and many people don't get to understand what that means. They get in, they feel frustrated, they feel compressed, pressured, and everything. So I'm making this video to elaborate on it and also go through how classes works. Okay. So share this video in your groups, in your Facebook groups. This is going to help a new person who is entering the school, who has gained admission, to be able to know what they are getting themselves involved in. Okay, and then it will help them mentally prepared for it. So an accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree allows students to complete the program faster. So the, the traditional... Uh, a uh, four-year degree it takes four years to finish a bachelor degree in nursing that's the traditional route where you go and sit in the classroom the teacher will teach you you know you have breaks long breaks here and there accelerated program is not like that so Chamberlain University is an accelerated program what does that mean every eight weeks two classes begin every eight weeks so from January to February. So you could have two courses in those two services. Sometimes you can have three. It depends um, what they can allow you do. Because sometimes you can have, um, maybe you, you had some prerequisites that was left. They can let you have one prerequisite, one of your prerequisites that you couldn't complete from wherever you are coming from they allow you add it to the core nursing classes that you're doing but they rarely allow that usually it's just two classes in those eight weeks period okay so knowing very well that they've crunched a four months um a four months semester into eight weeks which is like two months understand that it is a very fast pace very fast pace fast pace means it's going very very quick and fast no time to rest no time to waste okay so understand your week start from sunday i'm breaking it down for you so please pay attention your week your new week start from sunday up to saturday sunday up to saturday okay and within this sunday up to saturday there are quizzes to do depending on the classes that you are taking there are quizzes to do there are other assignments like edapt and this one i'm speaking for chamberlain there are other accelerated programs out there they will have their various assignments that you do for them but chamberlain specifically have something we call it they call edapt 
I'm not going to go into it that but when you get in, you will see it's a little bit crazy. Yeah, but the claim is going to help us, you know, be able to pass the NCLEX and be able to be successful. Anyways, I took my my NCLEX before I graduated the BSN and uh, EDAP didn't do anything for me, but that's just, just by the way. So this is a strategy. I'm going down a strategy uh, plan that can help you before i go down the plan that can help you succeed in this accelerated program let me ask you these questions are you are you able to learn and study independently do you require study groups to be successful do you do you do well in study groups or you are able to you know do your own thing and be okay are you someone who likes to have a teacher stand in front of you teaching you on a board explaining concepts upon concepts in great details and breaking it down if you answered yes to all these things if you answered that you need a teacher to stand in front of you break things down then Chamberlain is not for you okay it's an accelerated program there's no teacher standing in front of you and I'm talking about the online division we, the online student, there wasn't any teacher in front of us teaching us anything. You are literally doing 99.999% of the studies yourself. Okay? You do it yourself. That's what the accelerated program is about. Those who go to campus, you can comment under this video and tell me how your breakdown of studies is about those who get to go to campus go to a classroom they get to have a teacher stand before them and break down concepts i was with the online division and we didn't have any teacher stand in front of us okay so whether you are in the campus or online you need to be able to do independent studies 90 percent or 99 percent independent studies so if you think you can't do that you are a slow learner it takes you a bit of time two three days for you to grasp some concept then you you might want to be part of a traditional brick and mortar classroom program you know the community college wherever you live there are community college everywhere so go find out from them how you can join the community college program the nursing program there because chamberlain is an accelerated program and everything go bam 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 like back to back okay and most of the semester time i mean the break that we get is like two days three days it's like a weekend and then the next class will start i believe the longest break we had was the summer time i think it was a week and a half and that was about it okay that's the longest longest break that we got the rest are just two three four days you are back to the next class there's no time to rest, no time to debrief anything. You just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's how the accelerated program works. So get this understanding, sit down and assess what I'm saying, all the information, and ask yourself, am I able to do this? Be honest with yourself. If the answer is yes, then welcome to Chamberlain. You will succeed. If you've made up your mind, you have the back support that you need, you know, people around you, a sister, a brother, a husband, somebody that's going to help you with the kids. That's awesome. Welcome on board. You are going to do great. If you don't have anybody supporting you, anybody helping you, then you might want to think again. You know, it's good to have support. It's good to have support because sometimes you can get mental breakdown from all the pressure from the week's assignment and quizzes and exam. Okay? So, from Sunday up to Saturday is your, your week. And we have we have quizzes, depending on the courses. We have EDAP, like I said, and other assignments. And, and at the end of the term, two, there's a research paper called RUA that you have to write, depending on the course that you are taking. There's also a research paper that I, mostly is in the week six mostly it's in week six and um week seven and eight is when we go for our clinicals 
week seven and eight is when we go for our clinicals and clinicals doesn't start till you get to fundamentals clinical doesn't start till you get so nutrition uh introduction to professional nursing whatever none of it has clinical component but when you get to cl uh, fundamental that's when the first time you are going to when you are with the online division you're going to go to chicago for skills on point you get to meet the doctor the dnp nurses the top people and they teach you the skills uh of how to do things in the hospital settings all the equipment that are used in the hospital settings they introduce it to us and show us what how each and every one works and then they show us how to draw blood they have the mannequin set up we learn how to draw blood so that's the first part and then thereafter every semester you go for every eight you go for uh clinicals uh, for six weeks you are learning doing your exams and everything the seventh and eighth week you are at clinicals and when you are with the online division they can put you at any any state to go for clinicals so you can be in hawaii going to clinicals in ohio or wisconsin or virginia or maryland wherever they can find hospitals for us to go that's where we were going they don't pay for our hotel fees they don't pay for our flight you as a student you are responsible for your flight and your hotel accommodation and your feeding so if it's six days the six days you have to plan and prepare for your feeding your accommodation you uh, everything um if you have to drive you have to also think of rental car and everything so think of all those things those who are already in i i, I believe now you you understand what i'm saying all right so the strategy to help you plan for this uh, weekly assignment and be able to excel in an accelerated program now this can go for anybody in an accelerated program nursing program it doesn't have to be just chamberlain you know as as human as we are you there can be many unforeseen events unforeseen circumstances so always plan ahead always do your assignment ahead of time don't wait for the Saturday because it's Saturday due due date is Saturday you're gonna wait till Saturday to do it you don't know what can happen Saturday morning you don't know what can happen Saturday uh, Friday night before that Saturday so don't wait as soon as the assignments are open and the teacher has already given the quiz um, password guess what if you can take it on Sunday do it between Sunday and Tuesday, try and take your quiz out of the way. Try and do your EDAP as soon as practical. Start your EDAP on Sunday so that by Wednesday you are done with it. Because if you don't do it and the due date comes, they begin to take points. So if, if I think up to the first day you get some points taken and on the third day you get zero points for it. And this all counts towards your grade and your GPA. So for some of us who wanted to go ahead and, you know, do a DMP and stuff, you need a higher GPA to go into graduate schools. So take that into consideration when you are doing your assignments, your quizzes, your exams, and your RUA papers, okay? So the best strategy out there is to plan ahead of time. Do your assignment by Thursday, all your assignments have has been done. Please, by Thursday, you should have completed all your assignments. Why? Because you don't know what can happen from that point on to that due date, like I've explained. So please be sure that you are doing your assignment on time. When you do that, you take the pressure off your neck. Okay, and if you are in a study group, make sure by Sunday, you guys are talking among yourself who is doing what. To make sure everybody get the assignment done by Wednesday or Thursday, everything is done. You know, stay on top of things. Communicate. Every day, communicate more than necessary. You know, that will help you stay on top of you. So I hope these tips um, helps you. And I hope you've got to understand what accelerated program is. And know what you're getting yourself in. So you, you have to be mentally, physically, psychologically emotionally and all the literally you can think of okay you have to be um, ready for it 
and i bet you if you have all this information and you understand what you're getting yourself and you are ready for it you are going to succeed analyze your stress level know what you can handle and what you cannot handle okay some some and I, I know some students in my that were on anxiety medicine because of the program i i personally i don't take any medicine all i have is god and when i'm too stressed i just pray i sing i go into that place that makes me the breathe like be able to get rid of my stress i i turn on music that i love and listen and listen and listen until i'm much over my stress so find ways you are going to uh, quench your stress level so you'll be able to succeed in the program i hope this helps you now the last thing i want to share with you is that i'm starting a mentorship program um for anybody that wants to join uh put a comment in the comment section let me know if you want to join and what i'm going to do for the mentorship program is that you will register for it and when you pay what is going to happen is that i'm going to uh, make sure i hold you accountable for your entire program length okay every week i'll have a meeting with you see where you are what challenges you are having how best i can assist you whether it's in chamberlain or any other school any nursing school that you are in okay because i'm a i'm a teacher by nature <laughs> and i'm i'm ready to um help others succeed okay so you paying me is to free some of my time from my other job so i can have time for you and help you succeed so once a week i'll i'll, I'll meet with you and be able to know what challenges you are facing how best to go about it every week we'll meet once a week meet every week you know every week till you are done with your nursing degree program and the other tip that i wanted to also share is that join my telegram group click the button and join the telegram group so that you can get access to me every day okay and then i can get to answer all your questions especially with chamberlain and the other schools that i've mentioned on my channel all right stay blessed click like share and um let's keep moving